Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, Imitation of Life. The Goddess Next Door helps a young black girl overcome racism during the era of Jim Crow in this Golden Age Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Imitation of Life in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Actress Afton Williamson, one of the stars of the ABC drama The Rookie, has decided to leave after allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault on the set of the show. Now, when I take a critical look at this situation regarding actress Afton Williamson, I really believe that she's telling the truth. And the reason why I believe Afton Williamson is telling the truth is because Oftentimes, opportunities for black actresses are rare as related to television, and for a black woman to leave a top-rated ABC show just as it's getting its second season, it just adds more credibility to her statements. Moreover, when I look at the discreet way Afton Williamson has handled this situation, it gives more of a ring of truth to her allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault, and her actions fit right in line with what an individual would do if they were in a hostile environment and believed that they could get no recourse from the production company or the studio or the network. So Afton Williamson's actions fit right in line with someone who has been sexually harassed and allegedly sexually assaulted on the set of the show. So when I look at her actions, they tell me that this woman has gone through some sort of harassment on the set and she wants to get away from that harassment and that clearly shows again in her actions because even though opportunities for black actresses to be in a television series are rare, she's willing to walk away from that large payday in order to have some peace of mind. Now, again, when it comes down to these shows, these shows and opportunities to star in shows are very rare, and for a dark-skinned actress like Afton Williamson, this was the opportunity of a lifetime. Because getting a television series is something that's very difficult to do in Hollywood, especially for black actresses, because oftentimes roles aren't written for black actresses. So this sister is putting a lot on the line by walking away from the show, which was going to pay her, as I see it, very well, because she was a supporting cast member on the show, and no, nobody really walks away from that type of payday unless the conditions on the show are so hostile that it becomes untenable. Again, adding more of a ring of truth to Afton Williamson's statements, and when I think about the way Afton Williamson was treated on the show after reading several articles on it, it just really disgusts me because it shows the hypocrisy Hollywood has regarding white women and black women. Now, your Afton Williamson says that she was harassed by a black male co-star and she was sexually assaulted by a hairdresser on the show who made numerous racial slurs towards Afton Williamson. And the response from the production company was quite troubling when you consider that we are in the era of Me Too, and the mission of Me Too was supposed to be about stopping sexual harassment and stopping sexual assault. Well, where was the Me Too movement in the case of actress Afton Williamson, and where was the Me Too movement to stand up and advocate for Afton Williamson. Your Afton Williamson was being sexually harassed on the set of The Rookie by this black male guest star, it's alleged, and she was sexually assaulted by a lesbian hairdresser on the set of this show, and she had to deal with this lesbian hairdresser harassing her over the course of the show, making numerous racial slurs regarding her but we didn't hear from any 
of the women of this so-called Me Too movement, like your Rose McGowans, your Asia Argentos, and many others who came out and said that it, time was up for these type of incidents, but it seems like the, the, it was only time was up when it came down to old white actresses and not young black actresses like Afton Williamson. Because when I look at this whole case of sexual harassment and sexual assault, again, I see a complete difference between black and white, and it shows me that when it comes down to black and white, there are two different standards as related to them. When it comes down to white actresses who make allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault, they get full on court press from the Me Too movement. They get all of these people coming out talking about how they want to support these white actresses about allegations from over 20 to 25 years ago. But a black actress who makes a statement clearly with the ring of truth because she came out almost immediately to try to rectify the situation. There's no sort of campaign to deal with her situation in a manner where she could be able to go and work on the set safely and be able to do her work in a professional manner. No, there's no Me Too movement coming out to the support your Afton Williamson, but there's a whole host of these white women talking about how they were going to so-called stop sexual harassment and sexual assault on the sets of these TV shows and movies, but it's clear to me how full of it they are because this incident happened to Afton Williamson and her only recourse was to quit a TV show and walk away from the opportunity of a lifetime. And that's what's really sad to me because this young sister, this was one of her big breaks and she was forced to walk away from her big break because she got no support from Hollywood, which is par for the course when it comes down to Hollywood because Hollywood only supports white actresses and often leaves black actresses out in the lurch. And this is something that I knew all about Hollywood for many years, and I wrote about it in my screenplay, All About Marilyn, because I know how they mistreat black actresses like Afton Williamson and consider them an afterthought and do not think about their needs on the set of these shows because this young lady came out and tried to rectify things with the showrunners and who promised her that they would take this up with HR, but decided not to do anything at all and left this woman out in the lurch as she was being harassed by this black male co-star who I believe should have known better than to do such a thing because in this era of Me Too, we have black men becoming the target of these Me Too allegations and are being presented as brutes of the month, this black man should have known better than to go after this young sister in this hostile climate. And somebody should have pulled him to the side and let him know that the Me Too movement was about destroying black men. But I give Afton Williamson some credit for trying to be discreet and looking out for this black man because she understood the bigger picture as related to the black male image and related to the black female image and did not try to blow up a scandal because she knew probably about what had happened with Bill Cosby and how the media demonized him and didn't want to put another black man through that. So even though your Afton Williamson was going through such hardships, she still was looking out for the black community. So when I look at her actions, again, they show me a someone who is going through something, but also shows me a woman of great character because in her efforts to try to get justice for herself, she did not throw black men under the bus and present us as monsters. Instead, she tried to get recourse and hold the people accountable who were actually accountable for what was done because she knew this acting gig that she got was the opportunity 
of a lifetime, and she didn't want to wind up blowing the opportunity of a lifetime. And I believe that this woman was trying to hang on and trying to endure and trying to get through this hardship. Unfortunately, the situation became so untenable that she just could not hang on anymore because she saw that she was getting no support from her Prodco, she was getting no support from her union, no support from anyone, and this is why Afton Williamson sadly had to leave the opportunity of a lifetime because these kind of gigs for a young actress, they don't come along that often because oftentimes most of these showrunners and producers rarely write roles for black women. So when, again, when I listen to her allegations, they have the ring of truth. Moreover, they are followed up with actions that show truth here. And the truth is, Hollywood has shown how hypocritical it is in its treatment of Afton Williamson, and it shows how egregious it is in its hypocrisy, because you had all of these white women coming out here talking about how they were a part of this so-called Me Too movement. They made this mission statement saying that they were supposed to stop sexual harassment and sexual assault of actresses on sets. But now we clearly see that that statement only was meant for white women. And when it came down to black women, that that statement wasn't true at all because your Afton Williamson was sexually harassed on the set of the rookie she was sexually assaulted by a hairdresser allegedly and instead of us seeing any sort of penalty for this actual i believe sexual harassment and actual sexual assault we get the prodco and the studio trying to cover it up unfortunately no one is really looking at the double standards as related to race and gender here because it's clear to me hollywood has one standard for white women and one standard for black women, and when it comes down to the black woman's allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault, they are minimized and marginalized because Hollywood still does not see black women as women, and it does not see the issues of black women as important. Because the way this sister was treated shows me that Hollywood does not respect the black woman, and it does not treat the black woman the way the black woman deserves to be treated. Because when I look at this sister, again, her words have that ring of truth because she not only makes the statements with her words, but she follows it up with the actions which define her great character. So when I look at Afton Williamson, I see a really great sister here who is trying to do what is right. And instead of her getting the support she deserves, all she gets is a slap in the face from Hollywood, which shows us that Hollywood is more about protecting white supremacy than promoting the missions that it says it talks about. Because again, where is the Me Too movement? Where is Tarana Burke? Where are all these people who say that they wanted to say time was up? When, why wasn't time up for Afton Williamson? when it was for everybody else who made allegations from over 20, 30, 40 years ago. You had people, they could go out here and say me too. But when Afton Williamson, a black actress, was on a show and left for less than two years, she can't get any support whatsoever from Hollywood. And again, it just shows the hypocrisy and racism as related to Hollywood. And it shows a clear difference between the worlds of Hollywood and black and white. If you want to learn more about the struggles of black actresses in Hollywood, you can pick up my screenplay All About Marilyn on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats. That script shows what the difference between the worlds of Hollywood and black and white and the insidious racism that goes on behind the scenes in Hollywood as related to the image of black women and how black women struggle in Hollywood to find quality roles and why black women get mistreated and exploited in Hollywood by the institutionally racist entertainment system. And if you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.
now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited. John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today.